This is problem number three from uh, section 5.3. This is an interesting problem because they say what values of a and b maximize the value of uh, the integral from a to b of this function? Well, let's talk about what would make the area maximal. Well, if we graph this as a quadratic, we're going to have some function. I'll draw that up here. Some function that looks like maybe so. All right, it may not be perfect, but you'll get the idea. We want to find the area under the curve. Remember, the area under the curve is always the area from the x-axis upwards underneath the line. So we're looking for the area, uh, and I'll mark this like that, of the curve from the x-axis up. So we're looking for this area here. Area under the curve is always x-axis up to where the function touches. So we want this area. Well, that area goes from one root to the other root, if you notice that. That would be the maximal area from one root to the other root. If we integrated from, let's say, somewhere inside here to another x value, that wouldn't give us the, uh, the whole area under the curve. That would only give us partial piece of the area in the curve. We want to go from one root to the other root. Well, how do we find roots of a function? Well, we know that we can find roots of a function by finding the x-intercepts, which are called roots, right? By setting it equal to zero. So we set the function equal to zero, we can find the roots. Where does it cross the x-axis at? Let's do a little factoring here. So we get end up with x, 14 minus x equals zero. We can go ahead and then use the zero product property, so x has to equal zero, or 14 minus x equals zero. Negative x equals negative 14 by subtracting the 14 over, and divide by negative x equals 14. So my one of my roots is zero, and the other root is 14. So the value, my, my integral, the values of a and b that I need to integrate if I integrate from 0 to 14 of 14x minus x squared dx, that's going to equal the max area. Okay? So these are the solutions.